Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss polynomials in one variable. A polynomial Px in one variable x is an algebraic expression in x of the form Px equal to a n into x to the power n plus a n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 1 plus and so on up to a2 x square plus a1 x plus a naught that is this px is a polynomial in one variable that is x where we have these a naught a1 a2 and so on up to a n are the constants and we have a n is not equal to 0 then these a naught a1 a2 and so on up to a n are respectively the coefficients of x naught x x square and so on up to x to the power n and each of a n into x to the power n a n minus 1 into x to the power n minus 1 and so on up to a naught where we have a n is not equal to 0 is called the term of the polynomial p x. The constant polynomial 0 is called the 0 polynomial. Now let's define the degree of the polynomial. Highest power of the variable In a polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial. Now the degree for this polynomial Px is given by n. That is we say that degree of px is equal to n and also degree of a non-zero constant polynomial is zero. Consider a polynomial 2. This is a non-zero constant polynomial so degree for this polynomial would be 0 let's consider a polynomial px equal to 5x cube plus 4x square plus 7x then we have degree of px is equal to 3 since 3 is the highest power of the variable of the polynomial then we have a polynomial with one term is called a monomial. Like for example we have 3x. This is a monomial since it has only one term. Then a polynomial with two terms is called a binomial for example 2 plus 3x this expression has two terms that is 2 and 3x and therefore it's a binomial then a polynomial with three terms is called a trinomial for example we have 2 
plus 3x plus 6x square. This expression has three terms, 2, 3x and 6x square. So it is a trinomial. Next we have polynomial of degree 1 is called a linear polynomial. It is generally of the form ax plus b where we have a and b are the constants and a is not equal to 0. So this is a linear polynomial in variable x. Like for example we have 2x plus 3. This is a linear polynomial since we have degree for this polynomial is 1. Then next we have a polynomial of degree 2 is called a quadratic polynomial and a quadratic polynomial in x is of the form ax square plus bx plus c where we have a, b, c are the constants and a is not equal to 0. An example of quadratic polynomial can be taken as 6x square plus 2x plus 3. Then next we have a polynomial of degree 3 is called a cubic polynomial. This can be generally written in the form ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where we have a, b, c and d are the constants and a is not equal to 0. An example for cubic polynomial can be taken as 3x cube plus 6x square plus 2x plus 3. As you can see, a linear polynomial in x can have at most two terms. Then a quadratic polynomial in x can have at most three terms. And a cubic polynomial in x can have at most four terms. We know that a zero polynomial is denoted by zero and also degree of the zero polynomial is not defined. Next we discuss zeros of a polynomial. A real number A is a zero of a polynomial px if we have pa is equal to 0 and in this case this a is also called the root of the equation px equal to 0. Also a non-zero constant polynomial has no zero. Also we have that every real number is a zero of the zero polynomial. Then we have some observations related to zero of the polynomial like we say that a zero of a polynomial need not be zero. Then zero may be zero of a polynomial. Also we have that every linear polynomial
has one and only one zero. And a polynomial can have more than one zero. Consider a polynomial px equal to x minus 3. Let's try and find out the zero of this polynomial. For this we put px equal to 0. That is we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 which gives x equal to 3. So we say that 3 is the zero of the polynomial px. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of polynomials in one variable and how we find the zeros of a polynomial.